tell us real quickly about Ring of Honor and you guys came during the WrestleMania weekend. How important it is for uh, to put Ring of Honor here on the map when it comes to wrestling? Well, uh, it's become a tradition for Ring of Honor to do the WrestleMania weekends. We've been doing this since uh, 2004, starting in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and we did uh, ever since then uh, Chicago, Detroit, Phoenix. I'm going to miss a city here. Atlanta, <laughs> uh, uh, Orlando, and uh, now and. And in Chicago, and now here we are in uh, the Miami Fort Lauderdale area. And uh, you know, you got to go where the wrestling fans are. And uh, it's really nice for us. Uh, it's become a tradition, and it's nice to give the fans an alternative. You know, it's funny, and after all these years, I get to see the same people uh, that travel long distances, different countries, different states. And uh, it's a really, it's really nice to do it, and you know, make friends along the way too. That's what I've noticed today. I've noticed flags from, from Spain and from other countries, and it seems that everyone here is gathering for this sort of wrestling. Yeah, I mean, uh, people want to see an, an alternative product, you know. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about, you know, WWF WrestleMania. I'm sure, you know, they, they do great shows. But if they want to see some real ass-kicking, solid pro wrestling, uh, they know, you know, Ring of Honor has a reputation of, of delivering that. You know, I would always say in a lot of interviews, you, in any Ring of Honor show, some you'll see sometimes uh, more wrestling in 20 minutes than you might see on a regular WWE show. You know, they're going to do a good show in WrestleMania. But, uh, but that's what we do, you know, and uh, it, it's for the, I think it's, it's safe to say it's for the uh, more mature, discerning wrestling fan as opposed to, you know, little, nothing wrong with bringing little kids here. But, you know, the kid, little kid that wants to see Cena or Undertaker, and that's cool. But uh, if you want to see some good wrestling, uh, the, the people behind the scenes uh, reflect what you're seeing in the ring because we're, we're all fans too, and we like, you know, we like to do something that doesn't insult people. Tell me about the fans. Everyone is so interactive, screaming, yelling. I saw at the beginning when you guys were shooting live for uh, iPay Per View. Everyone was so thrilled and excited. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's this very special atmosphere at the Ring of Honor show. Uh, whether you're in Florida, New York City, we've gone to Japan, uh, London, uh, Toronto, and uh, there's a special atmosphere, you know. Uh, it's, it's really hard to pinpoint it or to describe it, but there's a, a feeling of community and excitement. And, you know, you get a big event like this, and people when you get people coming from all over the place, um, it's got an energy to it. And... Uh, if anyone's watching this, we'll be back here tomorrow, 1 o'clock, uh, at the War Memorial in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, if not, check us out on the Sinclair Broadcasting Network or the Ring of Honor website, www.rohwrestling.com. And this is Carrie Silk, and I'd like to thank The Roman Show for uh, having me on. Thank you so very much.